And welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com Lesson A, Part 2, Setting Up Your Company Profile So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look up here and see if there's something over here that I do not need as a um, shortcut. Uh, upgrade, I don't need upgrade, so I'm going to remove that. As you can see, whatever is over here is going to be over here. So I'm going to delete that. Add payroll, I don't need that, so I'm going to delete that. Credit cards, I'll leave that up there. Services, I don't need services. Live community, help, I'll leave those. Feedback, search, I'll leave all those. Uh, then the next step is to add. So I'm going to go to add. The first one that pops up from what I could see is backup data. So I'm definitely want to backup data and I'm going to hit OK. Um, and that should put it right over there. It's going to put it somewhere. It's not always going to put it in the order you want. But I'm going to go back to add. And basically, you can scroll through them and see which ones you want to add, which ones you don't. Backup is the only one that I really usually add myself. So. Uh, that being said, I'm going to leave it at that and let you explore it on your own and figure out what you want to put. But once I'm done with that, I'm going to hit OK. And uh, there you go. We're done customizing the icon bar. And then, then we're going to move on to the next. Moving on to the next will be the chart of accounts. And that's going to be under company. I'm sorry, that's going to be under list, chart of accounts. And what I'll do is I'll make this a little bit bigger so you can see. And chart of accounts basically means your banks, your credit cards, expenses, uh, types of income. So uh, this is something uh, that you're also going to be building as you're going along. You don't have to do it all in one shot. Okay. Uh, but this is where you can add banks and just basically take a look at your overall. Uh, you can add banks, bank accounts through under banking as well. Uh, but what we're going to do right now is uh, we're going to go ahead and go to account and we're going to do new account. When you do that, uh, you basically have the uh, option of choosing whether it's an income, an expense, a fixed asset, a bank account, loan, credit card, equity, other kinds of accounts. So right now, uh, just for good old fun, we're going to we're going to add some stuff. So we're going to add the first thing we're going to add is our bank account. So I'm going to hit continue. And I'm going to do, if you're going to have several bank accounts, so this is maybe one way you could do it, especially if you have several bank accounts within one bank, like Wells Fargo, for example. So I'm just going to set up my first bank account, and I'm just going to write Wells Fargo, nothing else. And I'm going to hit uh, Save and New. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create sub-bank accounts under them. So this is where I would maybe do WF, and then I'm going to maybe put the last four of the account number uh, or I can put uh, what it is whether it's a checking a savings uh, my merchant you can refer to it with to whatever you want this is where your merchant money is going to go to you can write merchant so for the first one I'm gonna write checking and I'm gonna write uh, dash five 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 okay and this is gonna be the sub account so I'm gonna check this over here and this is gonna be sub account of what exactly Wells Fargo uh, description you, you can put a description if you if you want to bank account you can put the full bank account number the routing number if you want whatever that may be uh, and then you're gonna hit save and new and then we're gonna do another one we're gonna do WF for Wells Fargo and we're gonna do a savings account so we're gonna do savings 0555 and that's gonna be sub account of Wells Fargo once again bank account can be zero zero whatever that may be routing number same thing it really doesn't matter what I'm typing right now it's just for the example and I'm gonna even do take it another level and I'm gonna put WF merchant slash five five two one one and same thing whatever that may be okay sub account don't forget Wells Fargo so here we go now that I've done that I'm gonna hit save and close for one second and as you can see up here uh, I've created a Wells Fargo a bank account and I've have sub bank accounts under them 
And as you will see to the right, there's totals. Everything is zero right now. But when you add what's in all these three bank accounts, you're going to get a grand total of what is in all three bank accounts. Okay. Now, if you see over here, if you've noticed, on the first two, I did a pound sign. And on the last one, I forgot to do that. Well, I like to be consistent. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click it. I'm going to hit edit account. I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to put a pound sign and I'm going to hit save and close. Now, now that you've done that, you can go ahead and view this many different ways, by the way. Uh, you could do it by name, uh, A to Z or Z to A. You could do it by type, whether it's banks, expense, and so on, or you could do it by amounts. So you can definitely play with this a lot of different ways, but usually the standard is going to go ahead and uh, I mean you can do it so many different ways so I'm gonna do it by uh, by name and let me do this over here a little bit spread it out a little bit here we go so you can customize things as you go along to make it uh, view more viewable uh, for you friendly so um, you can do these things okay so let's go back to our chart of accounts now that we've created our bank account uh, what else can we create let's go ahead and do account let's do new and let's add some credit cards in there how about that so uh, same thing with the credit cards I could do Amex and I could either name it platinum and then the last four of the card okay uh, you could do that individually or you could do account name and you could do credit cards and then you could put American Express and everything you have under credit cards you could definitely do that uh, it really all depends on how you want to do it. Uh, so, uh, for me personally, with credit cards, I'm just going to go ahead and do them a la carte, as they say. So, America. Uh, so I'm going to do Amex, abbreviate a little bit, doesn't hurt. And I'm going to do, uh, let's do Amex, platinum number, and the last four of the card. Okay, here we go, 0505. Zero five, zero five. So no sub account, and then I'm gonna put my full credit card number. It doesn't hurt because a lot of times when you call credit card companies and you're doing your books, uh, this may be a quick reference instead of pulling out your wallet. So uh, we're gonna put three seven one 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 whatever that may be. We're gonna hit save and new. Let's add a couple more credit cards. Uh, let's do City. MasterCard, so we could do Citibank, uh, or we could do MasterCard, MC, Citibank, 0505, same thing, we can put our uh, city with the uh, MasterCard is always going to start with a 5, so here we go, we're going to put the credit card number in here, save a new, so now we have a couple credit cards in there, so we could do this, so that's uh, that's nice. But once again, if you feel like, you know what, I got one credit card here, I got one there, and I don't like that, remember you could always do it by type and the two credit cards will come back together. So uh, me personally, I actually do like to have it by type. I like to have my banks up top and then pretty much the way you see it is the way uh, usually you would want it as a default is by type. Okay, I know I said by name, but I just realized it's by type, so I apologize about that. Okay, moving on. Uh, let's see what else we can add okay so uh, basically now well let's go ahead and do a uh, new income expenses uh, these traditionally I would recommend uh, just adding them as you go along uh, because uh, there's so many that you can come up with and you may not be able to think of everything at, you know up front so you know, don't break your head about thinking about all the expenses and income up front. You can always do it as you go along. The main thing is you want to get your bank in there. You want to get your credit card in there. Uh, and equity is another one that I will put in there. And uh, I will tell you um, uh, why I do this. So I'm going to hit continue. And I'm going to call it loans payable officer. You could also call it equity, you know, you can call it a lot of different things, but this is one, one thing you can call it. And basically what this is, is if you take uh, money out the company's bank or petty cash or so on, 
uh, that basically, or if you put money into the company, you want it to either, you know, you basically don't want it to go into an expense or income. You want it to go as equity, as uh, asset in, in a way. So uh, this would be the account that you would use whether you're drawing money from the company or whether you're putting your own money into the company. So we're going to call this loan payable officer and we're just going to hit save and new or save and close on that. And then from there, uh, you can go ahead and basically take a look at all the expenses and if you wish to take one out, you may do so, but I don't recommend taking any of these out uh, just for the fact that uh, these are good uh, guidelines and they may help you on figuring out how you want to expense things out. Okay, so this pretty much wraps up our first lesson of uh, setting up the company and uh, setting up certain information as you can see and now we're gonna go ahead and move on to doing some payables and then we're gonna move on to doing some receivables, bank rec reconciliations, credit card reconciliations, uh, reports and you know all sorts of good stuff and by the end of our tutorials uh, we'll have basically have created a fictitious company uh, and have basically played everything out as if we were a real company and you will get to see how all the numbers get to be plugged in all at once and how everything works and how you can apply uh, what you learn over here towards uh, your business or your bookkeeping or whatever you may be doing. So uh, stay tuned uh, to uh, chapter 2. And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.